What's going on, y'all? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, welcome to today's segment of In the Kitchen with Crystal. I am Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness Is Not a Game, your health and fitness coach who specializes in helping women over 40 lose weight without dieting or exercise for more than 30 minutes at a time. And I come here in the kitchen, uh oh, in the kitchen with y'all because I also want to show you how meal prep and healthy eating can both be healthy and easy, right? So let me make sure I can see all the comments. If y'all here with me now, say hey, let me know that you're here. If you're catching this on replay, do me a favor and type replay in the chat. And of course, we're gonna drink water while I tell y'all what we're making today. As y'all can see, and you'll catch me, you might catch me dusty whining today, but today we are making jerk chicken and pineapple slaw. Y'all, look, when I tell y'all this is my jam, it has that wonderful blend of spicy and sweet and just gives you those island flavors together. And we're going to be making this recipe directly from the In the Kitchen with Crystal cookbook that you can get on Amazon, the link is in the description. The recipe itself is on page 40, but before we get started, we're going to make our own jerk seasoning. Ah, I'm going to start this heat because we're going to use a cast iron skillet today. You know, cast iron takes a minute to heat up to the temperature you want. So I'm going to do it on a, like a medium low heat. Got that going. But let's make this jerk seasoning. Let me know if you've made your own before or if you typically buy it. Because when I show you how easy it is, you're never going to want to buy another jerk seasoning mix again. And when I tell you this is the only one I use and I make good clod. So what do we need to make this jerk seasoning? And the recipe for the seasoning blend is in the recipe book as well. So we're going to use garlic powder. We're going to use some sea salt. We're going to use some cinnamon. We're going to use some thyme, some cayenne pepper. We're going to use some minced onion. We're going to use some black pepper. And we're going to use some allspice. That's what you need. Typically things you would have in your pantry so it's not crazy. All right? So let's get cracked. We're going to start with the most ingredients first, like the biggest ingredient first, and then we're going to work our way down. All right? So we need three tablespoons of minced onion. Now, I already know this is three tablespoons there because I'm at the end, but I'm going to go ahead and measure it out. And y'all see, I hope y'all can see it on the back on up. So one, yada, yada, yada. It's three. <laughs> three tablespoons of minced onion. That's it. But that I already put it on the list. Then. We're going to get one tablespoon of thyme. Mm, mm. Yeah, this, when I tell y'all, y'all going to thank me for this. Like, it's funny. I was just talking to my clients. I meet with my clients on Saturday morning, and we would talk about it in the kitchen. I was like, you know, I don't really follow a lot of recipes. <laughs> I do what I feel until the ancestors tell me, right? How be ever? This one is what I follow to a T. All right, one tablespoon of allspice. Because I tell you, it's so doggone good. You don't want to mess it up. Then we also going to get a tablespoon of our pepper. I have one that actually fit. Y'all, y'all, y'all. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to switch our teaspoons, and we're going to get us a teaspoon of the other three, right? So we got a teaspoon of our garlic powder. Oh, I ain't been showing. Oh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey. Y'all coming in. Let me know that you're here. This is Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness is Not a Game, and we are doing jerk chicken and pineapple slaw. A teaspoon of our cinnamon. That's a little too much. That's what I said. As much as I love cinnamon, I told y'all this is the one recipe I follow to a two. Then a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Add that extra little spice. Oh, that fit in there. Yeah. All right. Then we're gonna uh -oh. uh, wash that off. 
a half a teaspoon of our sea salt. Y'all know what we got to do. I don't know why we do this. Ah! All right. Got our, all our ingredients in now. I'm just going to shake this thing up. And that thing ready to go. All right. Now, this is going to be smell. Oh, y'all want to see how pretty it looks? See that? Mmm. -mm. So good. So good. You know what? Real quick. For the book, because we are live. If you are watching this on YouTube, do me a favor and click subscribe. If you on the top, hey, TikTok, I see y'all. Say hey. Make sure that you are also following your girl. And then here on Facebook, say hey. Let me know that you're here. And I'm just making sure that everybody sees. I want y'all to see that. Y'all see that? You see that TikTok? Let me smell it. Y'all, mm, let's get this cracking. Let's get this cracking. All right, y'all know how the book be doing. Hugs, please. It's crazy how they don't even show me myself because I want to make sure everybody is in here. And we going to get to go. All right. Well, maybe it ain't in here. We going to keep rolling anyway. How about that? How about that? I don't know what the book is doing today, but the party don't stop. All right. Now, this heat is going to look good. So I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil in it. Just a little bit. Because I usually don't even cook with vegetable oil. I usually use um, nonstick spray. But this is that cast iron. I'm using cast iron because I want that little, that little crisp to it. Now, what I usually use like a nonstick non skillet. But today I want that. I feel like cast iron like cooks in the flavor a little bit more. Whereas like a nonstick will make it like juicier. And I don't want it juicy. This is a dry rub. I want y'all to get all the flavor. So, because we're making jerk chicken, I got three chicken breasts. And what I'm a fan of, because again, remember we talked about how in the kitchen is about making cooking easier and quicker. So I am a fan of using, I mean, cutting my chicken into smaller pieces because it cooks faster, right? So I just got three breasts. And I like when I, there's another little fact. Instead of using breasts, I like to, well, keep them as breasts. Let me see how big I want. I like to, let me start playing. I like to cut them up in strips or nuggets because then, you don't have to necessarily eat the entire breast and the easy to spread along, right? People get the sure. Mm -hmm. Just gonna cut that one in half. And that grease is looking good. Yup. Woo, child. All right. Now I got these. All we're gonna do with these, you said a little sweet and spicy, right? We are going to put our jerk seasoning on here. You put, you season it to your dog on taste buds. Actually, I don't use the bowl. Season it to your taste buds. But let me tell you what we're going to do in addition to, in addition to the jerk seasoning. Crazy with chicken by myself cooking. I mean, uh, cleaning my hands frequently. All right, so we're gonna take our jerk seasoning that we just made, and then we are going to add a little brown sugar. Don't mind my bag being upside down. That's how my child <laughs> says I ain't opened it. So it is what it is. Oh yeah, that, that grease smells good. And it's crazy, because I'm actually gonna turn that heat down, because I don't want to cook fast. Cause that's gonna be the longest part because making this slow is gonna be cool. Yeah, all right. So shake that up, get all the seasonings, and we're gonna sprinkle this on here. So I say sprinkle it to your heart's desire. Wow, oh smells so good. The pebbles getting to me, <laughs> and it's crazy, it's so flavorful, you don't need a lot. You do not need a lot. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to use just a teaspoon for this size. A teaspoon of brown sugar. All right. That's it. That's it. And we're going to massage all this in. Break that down. Massage all this in. Rub it on up real good. Mm -hmm. So excited. Get that flavor up in now. And that's another reason why I like to chop my uh my chicken breast prior to cooking them because then I feel like the flavor gets on everything as opposed to just been on the outside of a breast. All right. On the outside of the uh yeah, I'm just gonna say the breast. <laughs> We're going to be professional today. Ooh. The chicken. Ooh, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? The sizzle. The sizzle. Okay, now I don't want the tea up too high. I don't want to cook too fast. I'm going to let the cake is slow time. And of course, we got to do what? Wash all the things 27 times, right? Y'all don't mess with no chicken grit juice. Mm-mm. No, no, no. So while that's cooking, we just gonna go ahead and get slow real quick. All right, we clean off the table. And we are doing so with this with the slaw, all you need some bok choy and cabbage. Or I'm gonna show y'all. You can do that if you want to, if you want to be real authentic. But I bought the bag of slaw mix. Just mix that thing all together. Right? Then we're just going to use some pineapple, a little bit of brown sugar, and some apple cider vinegar. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. Oh, that smells so good. Cha, cha, cha. All right. There we go. Get this other cutting board out. And about to get fancy on y'all. Let's drink some more water, y'all. I'm about to show y'all one of my favorite little gadgets. Oh, we use a fresh pineapple. You can choose to get you a uh, can if you like. I just love me some fresh pineapple. Especially once, since I can cut it easily. Bam. Why would I buy the can? Ever again, I hope that ah, this is a white one. We don't see if it's good and juicy or not. But y'all, if you don't have you a pineapple slicer and quarter, what are you doing with your life? Because I don't know. Man, this little thing is so dope. Just cut the whole pineapple easily. If you want to keep it as slices, you can. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to slice up some. Ooh, okay, it's a little juicy. You see that? Just pull it on up and out. Ooh, child. Whole pineapple cut up. Core still in there with some juicy juice. We're going to save you. All right. This chicken smells good. Let me, let me see about it real quick. Ooh, oh, yeah, buddy. Got that little crisp I want. Oh, we. And if it's anybody's first time catching me in the kitchen and y'all judging me for my excitement, oh well, judging my, ooh, child, judging mama, because when you see how good these pans look, baby. All right. So for this, that off. all we do, be careful with this because this is a blade. Dump that off. Look at that. Sliced pineapple. Ready to go. Mm, let's see what it tastes like. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Look. Oh, wait a minute. It may be a little light skin. No light skin jokes. But that thing sure is juicy. Yeah. I'm only. Gonna put, let me see, I'm gonna do this two little slices. Mmm, mmm. Yes. Yes. And I'm just gonna, I might not even need this much. So I'm only gonna use like two cups of salt. And I'm dicing this up real good. Because we just want the flavor. 
So we don't need super big chunks. It's one of those things where the pineapple is in like every bite. You like, eh, is that pineapple? Like, why, well, yes, it is. Oh, for anybody that's wondering, this recipe is on page 40 of the In the Kitchen with Crystal cookbook that you can find on Amazon. Yeah, that's probably enough right there. That's enough. I'm gonna put that back. I'm gonna eat that. Put that back. So what are we gonna do now? We're gonna make our quick sauce. Throw this all together. Oh, this chicken is looking beautiful. Oh my gosh. And I know my brother probably losing his mind like, leave it alone. Don't mess with it. Let it cook. Mind your business, boy. Mind your business. All right. So I'm getting my bowl. And we are going to mix two tablespoons of some apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm gonna do the brown sugar first. Because, oh, actually, no, we can do this because it's two tablespoons of the cider. But we're doing two teaspoons. That's the difference. Ew, I'm gonna clean it up. You know, I'm gonna come in here and be like, why well, I smell like vinegar? I'm not gonna waste the vinegar. <laughs> but, ooh, smell like vinegar. Woo. All right, and then we're gonna do two teaspoons of the brown sugar. And I'm actually gonna turn that chicken off and let it rest. Tea, two teaspoons. And that's it. We're gonna stir this thing up. I'm gonna put this slaw up in here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use a fork to put that sugar down. See that? That's all we're doing. Then we're gonna add in this here pineapple. Yeah, I probably need all that. We're gonna see about it. I'm, that's all I'm putting in for now. Turn the chicken off. Child. Wait till y'all see this chicken. Mm. Eh. Hey, hey. Oh, that smells good. It would have been cider vinegar. All right. And then I just got a classic coleslaw mix. I'm going to put up in here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make sure this for is mock today. All right. So about two cups. Y'all heard me say, I, I say I was going to do it. Make sure it was mock. That's his job. So much job. One cup. Two cups. That's all right. That's all right. Mm, I'm trying to make sure I'm stepping this up too. I showed them one of my shoes. And now we just tossing this together. Yeah. Ooh. Can you see that? So this is literally just apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Two teaspoons of brown sugar. Diced up some pineapple. And put it in a pre-made slaw mix. Now, if you want to chop up your bok choy and your cabbage and not your carrots, you want to do all that, go for it. But remember, here in the kitchen, we talk about how to make meals quick and easy. And they still going to be good. And they're going to be healthier for you. Mm. Look, we just did this in 16 minutes. I made a whole jerk seasoning from the scratch. Cut up my chicken. Cook the chicken. Chopped up a whole pineapple from the scratch. <laughs> uh, made the slaw. Well, I didn't make all of it from the scratch, but you get what I'm saying. Child, that's it. That's it for the jerk seasoning. We just needed what? Mist onion, salt, sea salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, allspice. Uh, did I say cinnamon? Oh, and time. That's it. Oh, but well, now we about to plate this here thing. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna put this here slow in here first. Yeah. Mm. So quick and easy. We literally just made that in less than 20 minutes with me running my mouth. <laughs> And cleaning up my kitchen twenty seven times, right? Mm, mm, mm. 
All right. And then we're going to add our chicken. Let me test it out. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet and tangy. Mmm. Oh, wait. Get these good. Woo, child. Look at that. Y'all know I don't make too many meals. I don't have like green vegetables in it. But this is one. Well, it's going to have to be an exception. Look at that chicken. Tell me that ain't perfection. Tell me that ain't perfection. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's so juicy. Mm. Still going to get a knife, though. Mm, mm, mm. Shall see about it. Ooh, juicy, tender. Oh, that's perfect. And let's get a look. I'm one of those. Y'all tell me in the comments if you're one of those you like to mix your food, so you need your food separate. I like a little bit of everything, and everybody, I'm gonna put it all together. Mmm. Mmm. That thing is. Dirt seasoning all. Oh my gosh. It's so darn good. Got a little spice in it. And the cayenne. Mmm. And pepper. But it's so good. So darn flavorful. And then we mix it with the sweetness and the tanginess of the sauce. Mm, and the so now go light. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'll say for me and my palate, it's a little sweet, the sauce, the slaw. But all that's gonna do, all I need to do, I just need to add more slaw in there to balance out the flavor to go across. Excuse me. I'm chilling with my food. I've been talking food in my mouth. This right here, y'all, less than 20 minutes. And this is enough for me to eat again tomorrow. The thing about meal prep, y'all, meal prep is just being prepared for another meal. See, I've made enough to where I can just package this up and then have it again for to lunch tomorrow or any other day. And I'm ready to go in less than 20 minutes, y'all. This is Crystal Taylor. We have been, you have been in the kitchen with Crystal where we made jerk chicken and pineapple slaw in less than 20 minutes. If you want this recipe, make sure you grab your copy of In the Kitchen with Crystal, the cookbook on Amazon. The link is in the description. If you are on YouTube or Facebook, for my folks on TikTok, all you gotta do is go to bit.ly slash, I believe, Fanag in the Kitchen. All right. I'm like that. In the kitchen book. Yes, it is. Bentley slash in the kitchen book. All right, y'all. Y'all have an amazing day. This has been in the kitchen with Crystal. Make sure you drink your water. Be out there in the streets. Please be safe. So I just want you healthy. I want you happy. And I want you here. All right, y'all. Bye.